That's one more critical fact of living in Bali is the uh, petrol costs. What happened? That's the worst it's ever been. What happened? Oh, you were filming there? <laughs> Good morning from Changu. Good morning. <laughs> so today is our first full day uh, in Changu and we're going to be here for about three weeks. At least I am. Stacey's going to be here yeah. for a little bit of less, less I'm time. I'm leaving. I'm leaving him. <laughs> <laughs> Only for a little bit so that she can go back and help plan some wedding stuff for her sister. But we'll fill you guys in on that later yeah. on. But basically the plan for today is um, we Just need like to get... Cruise around, eh? We need to get situated, right? Yeah. Like Find out where the gym is, where the supermarket is like good cafes yeah so we're gonna do I suppose so, so if you didn't catch yesterday's vlog which is the day that um, we arrived here things didn't really go to plan but it was it was all good but we did manage to get a scooter we've got a really cool place that we're gonna be staying in which we'll do probably the next video we'll be sharing that so yeah. you guys can sort of see how cheap and like how cool it really is um, but because we've got that scooter we just yeah we've got like all these little things mapped out we don't want to talk about it all because in case we don't in case we don't in find case we it can't or get it, it or find <laughs> yeah, it so yeah. First off, anyway, we're going to go and try and scope out um, a good, cheap, gym. solid gym. Solid gym. <laughs> One thing I should mention as well is that this will be all about costs, so we'll share everything as we go. We'll go into the grocery store and we'll hopefully try and get a whole bunch of costs as well as like cafes and food and everything. So done a lot of driving already. It yeah. is so hot. It's so hot and everything's so spread out. Yeah, that's one thing we've definitely noticed about Changu is that um, really cool cafes, really cool like shops and like this is, looks yeah, like there's so much going like, on. There's culture here and like but there's so many people. And it, yeah, so many people and so spread out. So luckily we do yeah. have the scooter. Um, we think we found a gym anyway, which is cool. We went to two. The first place was um, so I'm looking on the lower end like I just need raw equipment. I don't need like to pay hundreds of dollars for like air conditioning no. and yoga pants and stuff. I just want <laughs> like tin. Yeah. So we looked at two different places and one of them looks really good. Um, I think it's 150,000 for the month, which is like so okay. insane. And it's only about five minutes drive or 10 minutes drive from where we are. So we spent quite a bit of time looking at gyms, trying to decide where we would train while we're in Bali. And we stumbled across this place and it's called Victory. Um, Victory Fitness Center or Fitness Club or something. It's honestly, for what you get, it's insane that it costs 150,000. Sorry if this is noisy, having to film on my phone. 150,000 for the entire month. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Then the next plan was to go to a cafe. We went to a cafe, but it was. What was it called? Hungry Bird. Yeah. But it was absolutely packed, like no places to sit. So. Then we were just driving along and we found um, the supermarket, so we're going to go and check that out. Yeah, so the, the cafes here, if, if they're popular, if they're on Instagram or if they're like yeah. on TripAdvisor. you've heard of them, so is everybody else. Yeah, we drove past one and there were people like queued out the door. Yeah, we haven't queued for anything in a very long time, so for us that just feels a bit weird. Anyway, we're going to, yeah, let's, we'll try and get some groceries first and we'll revisit the whole coffee situation. Let's go. A super nice supermarket. Super super. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at some of the prices. We're pretty lucky here. Most supermarkets that we've visited, especially when we try and capture like costs and stuff, like they're really not keen on you using a camera. And I've walked in here with like a big camera and they were okay with it. Um, but we're just walking around now. There's loads of like oats and all sorts of cereals and everything here as well. All the brands 
all the brands we need are definitely here. Um, but yeah, so we asked security and the guy was like, yeah, sure, bring it in. I'm off recording and talking and I come back and <laughs> Stace is like trying out under the under arm. Under uh, arm. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Gotta make sure you smell good. She's testing out underarm deodorant for me. These Wife goals. 20,000. 20,000? That's so cheap. So cheap. They've got like little like headlamp batteries and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Um, but even like, you know, like the big brands like Sensodyne and stuff like that, you know, people expect that maybe you wouldn't find that in places like Bali or Southeast Asia, but they all do exist, you just have to hunt them out. Our parking spot <laughs> just random empty lot or something here <laughs> we've found a cafe to go to So we thought we'd try something a little bit different than trying to find a coffee shop. The places that we were going to on the scooter, like out amongst the rice fields and like just driving further away from like the main strip, was so full. And so we thought, what is the main street like? So we literally just drove down one of the main streets and sure enough, there's like two people in this cafe and it's like empty. So I think the other spots must be like destinations that people get on their scooter and they like go there specifically. Um, whereas obviously here you just catch people walking up and down. So I'm pleased that we did a little drive by it. The place we've come to is called uh, Little Flinders, which Stacey actually mentioned had come up in some of her research before. Um, but the coffees have just arrived and they taste absolutely delicious. It's not too overpriced as well considering it's on a main street. And we're just torn now. We're trying to decide if we're going to stay here for lunch or if we're going to go and drive around a little bit more. It's just hard on the scooter because it's just so hot and we just haven't done enough research yet, I suppose. What happened? That's the worst it's ever been. What happened? Oh, you were filming there? <laughs> that was so hot. Did you burn your butt? Because I've got board shorts on, it's like, it's basically just like singed my, <laughs> singed my butt. Oh my God. Oh. seen any of our other videos from Bali up to here we've got a bit of a smoothie bowl addiction <laughs> so there's, there's uh, Nali bowls in particular is like located like three or four spots around Bali and it's just around the road from the coffee shop that we were just at so we were like so hot it's always nice to eat something like cold and fresh um, the prices are sort of in line with what you'd pay at any any of the Western sort of um, cafes or restaurants or whatever around around town. There definitely are cheaper options but you always pay sort of about this price which I'll put on the screen for now. Interesting thing with this one is it's right next door to a place called Dojo which is like a co-working space. Some of you guys might not know what that is but people that sort of travel and work online it's like a it's a spot where everybody goes there with the same purpose of working. It's like a cafe and then it's like they've got like a business center. This one's actually got a swimming pool as well. And then they do like networking events and they've got like printing facilities and all this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, sorry, good point, yeah, but you do have to pay to, um, you have to pay like a membership so that you're guaranteeing like 24-7 access and like, um, I'm reading the sign <laughs> and high-speed internet uh, and meeting rooms and bikinis, so the swimming pool. Um, yeah, so there's co-working spaces like scattered all over, but this is just one of the more popular ones. Yeah, one more please. That's 
one more critical fact of living in Bali is the petrol costs. Straight out of a can, like, I have a bottle like that, it's 10,000 per, uh, per litre. So I've just put two litres in. As you can tell, it's very wet. I've just borrowed this from one of the guys, Evan, back at our place because we just have to go and get some food. Can't really film too much more today, guys. I think, uh, I think that's it for us. Um, yeah, check back. We're going to have loads more videos to come shortly. But as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the comments.